Headlines for this week include a new online program at UWL, information about UWL's Twitter page, and tips on how to have a safe spring break. Stay tuned, WMCM's Week in Review is next. Hello and thanks for watching WMCM's Week in Review. I'm Sean Mason. And I'm Katie Butson. Sports management students have a new opportunity that's completely irresistible. Lacrosse has just added a new two-year degree program to their many sports graduate degrees. But this one offers you the convenience of your own home. The program is a new online sports administration graduate program. It is completely online and offers a variety of different classes ranging from sports law to event managing. The program was just launched and the first cohort will begin in fall 2013. If students are unsure about joining an online degree program, the Sports Administration program offers a free online readiness quiz which allows students to determine their strengths and challenges in an online environment. To get more information about this program, contact Pro Program Coordinator Go Brian Gordon or visit the Sports Administrative website at www.uwlax.edu backslash continuing ed backslash course descriptions .html. Beginning this past Monday, Melissa Moss, a senior at UWL, will take over the UW, UW Systems Twitter account at UW Powers Me. This event helps highlight the contributions UW Lacrosse makes to the entire UW system. Throughout the week, Moss will post tweets and photos that highlight everything special about UW Lacrosse. Moss works as the news editor for the campus newspaper, The Racket, and as a media writer for the University Communication Office. The campaign, UW Powers Me, allows anyone from the UW system to take an opportunity of telling their experience at their respective UW school. The campaign highlights how the UW system affects Wisconsin in a positive way through its economic growth, its community building, and its business supportive measures. The campaign kicked off February 11th when a student at UW Platteville was the first guest tweeter. <coughs> to follow Moss and the UW Powers Me campaign, Head on over to www.twitter.com slash uwpowersme. And now here's Katie Pence to tell us how to have a safe spring break. Thanks, Sean. Spring break is now just a day away, but whether you're relaxing at home or heading to the beach, safety should be your number one priority. How can you have it stay safe and have fun? Easy. First, be careful what you put on social media. It may be a great way to connect with friends, but you never know who else may be looking. Make sure to carry your cell phone and have it charged. Your phone is your line to your friends, taxi services, and emergency responders. There's nothing worse than a dead battery when you need a ride home. If you go out with friends, be sure to leave with friends. Letting a friend go solo makes them an easy target. Also, sick friends may cut your evening short, but they should not be left alone to just sleep it off. Protect yourself in all situations. Whether it's the beach, bar, or bedroom, you need to protect yourself. Wear sunscreen, know your limit, and never be afraid to say no. Finally, trust your gut. Do yourself a favor and follow your instincts. You can't have a great time if you're constantly looking over your shoulder. You can find more tips at www.safespringbreak.org. Have fun, stay safe this spring break, and now back to you, Sean. Thanks, Katie. We sent the WMCM crew to get an inside look at St. Baldrick's. Let's take a look. A unique <coughs> fundraising event. So today we're here at the rec yeah, on to UWL campus to check out St. Baldrick's and to see what's going on. Sure, so St. Baldrick's is a foundation that raises money for childhood cancer research. And we've, this is our seventh annual event. And so we just bring everyone together to raise money, shave heads, and make dreams come true, I guess. We do it for our fraternity every year. So we decided, I decided to grow all my hair since like December. And then we all just raise money together and kind of do it as a group thing, something fun. I did a shave it or save it fundraiser. So I had people donate um, to whether they wanted me to shave my head or save it. 
and Low I ended grass. up raising like over four hundred dollars. And these guys save it one, so I will not. Be Does it take an addition <laughs> okay, or so some been, sort of restriction? Okay, so I've been involved in it for three years, and it's been life changing. I've uh, shaved yes, my head twice, and, and I've been involved in planning um, the event for two years, and so it's just amazing to see the whole community come together to raise so much money for such a wonderful cause. I decided last year when some of my friends did it. Uh, after it's merely performing work that is written go for the media. And the this has been Aaron like, Engstrand and Chris Stackhouse for WMCM TV. Thing that I was like, Plagiarism is wrong and you not, should feel bad if you like do it. This. So I thought I'd take advantage of it. It's crazy. I mean, we do, as a society, have such a big attachment to hair and it is such a big deal. I was ready for it to be gone though. After growing it out since December, I feel pretty good. This is awesome. For WMCM, this has been Casey Rowan, Summer Steiner, and Mary Cohen. This event raised over $24,000 for the St. Baldrick's Foundation. They are hoping to do just as well next spring, so if you're looking to help out a good cause, keep this in mind for the future. New opportunities keep opening doors at UW Lacrosse. On March 5, 2013, Dr. Kwang Wee Wen informed students about the new Health Information Systems Management minor in the Information Systems Department. The new program will infuse pertinent, up-to-date health information systems knowledge with the management skills of medical practice. The minor features classes such as data communications and ethics, security, and compliance. For interested students, there is more information at the Information System webpage and a downloadable program brochure at www.uworcontact or contact the Information Systems Office at 785-6656. If you are applying for the Health Information Systems Management Minor, there is an extended minor change deadline until April 18th. The Cooley Region Humane Society has many pets in need of loving homes. Here are some of the animals available in this week's edition of Meet Milano, a seven-year-old male domestic medium-haired cat. He's very friendly, easygoing, and would love a new lap to keep warm. Here's Otis, a one-year-old potty-trained male lab border collie mix. He's very intelligent, well-behaved, and wants to show off his new tricks. Hear the bells? It's Angel. She's a sweet, gentle, six-year-old poodle. She loves to cuddle, is very laid back, and wants to share her smile with everyone. To find out more about adoption for these pets or others, contact the Cooley Region Humane Society at 781-4014. Again, the phone number for the Cooley Region Humane Society is 781-4014. The UWL art exhibit is now open to the general public. 29 students of various majors will have their very own works of art on display in the art exhibit located on the first floor of the Center for the Arts building. 14 of the students will be receiving awards for their works. The exhibit runs through March 30th and is closed during spring break. Regular gallery times are noon to 8 in the evening, Mondays through Thursdays, noon to 5 in the evening, Fridays and Saturdays, and admission is free. The gallery has extended hours during all events taking place at Toland Theater. For more information, go to www.uwlax.edu slash art and look for the gallery schedule or call 785-8230. With spring in the air, the Beatles is the perfect playlist for the changing season. Now UWL students have the opportunity to listen to the Beatles live. Almost. On Thursday, March 26, UWL's small vocal ensemble will be performing a tribute to the Beatles. The ensemble will be performing a variety of the Beatles arrangements such as Yellow Submarine, She Loves You, and others at this whimsical yet relaxing concert. The show is free for students and begins at 7.30 in the evening in the Annette Recital Hall at the Center for the Arts. For more information about the performance, contact Jacob Leonard at 608-785-84. One, one. The performance is right after spring break, so don't miss the vocal.